Good morning. Look who we have today. We have Bentley. Huh? <laughs> so these two have been playing and they're t uh, they're settling down a little bit. I thought that this would be a good chance to do some place work with the distraction of Bentley. Because even though Bentley's being a good boy, he represents excitement and impulse issues for her. She has got a lot of impulse issues which is just baked into her, who she is. So working on things like the place command that work on her impulse control are very important. Gracie, place. Yes. I want you to notice that I said place and then I waited till she got herself all the way up. Got herself all the way up there. I want you also to notice that I am not responding to the barking. I want you to practice this place command. And when she does this, I need you to act like it's not even happening because if we turn and address that noise, it's like we've thrown gasoline on the fire. So what we want to do is just not worry about it. If she starts to step off early, I just walk toward her and apply spatial pressure. I don't say anything. I might go, I might make a sound like ah, or something. If I see her starting to get off, I'll make a sound to tell her don't even think about it. But if she steps off, I'll walk toward her and give her spatial pressure without a conversation. The thing here that's important to understand is that if she comes off early, like that, that notice, I don't say the command, I, I, I don't say the command again, I just uh, put her back on. So this is the first time she's been asked to hold place while her boyfriend's here. So I want you to watch how patient I am and how I don't talk to her at all. After I say the command, all I do is spatial pressure on my point and I wait. So she started to settle in. Now I'm holding some of her favorite treats and I'm about to give one to her little boyfriend whose head you can see here. Uh -uh. So you can see the way she puts herself back on there that she knows what she's supposed to be doing. So what I'm concerned with right now is not the noise she's making, but the fact that she is controlling the physical impulse to come get this treat that he's got. The noise will... Uh, so see, that time I started to interrupt her. I'll step toward her. This is a lot for her with him here. Pulling more treats out. Now, you see how she's finally started to be quiet? Everything is about... Uh, uh, to see with this practice session is number one we ignore the noise number two we when she hops off early that is a teachable moment that's where the learning really happens so welcome those mistakes and when it's time when she does that you don't start talking to her you don't say the command again you just spatial pressure and point and she'll hop back on there and then you start over and you just keep starting over as many times as it takes the thing is Gracie Place. Yes. So she hesitated because the little man came back. Now the little man's really excited. Now this time I'm going to make it shorter. Break. Good girl. Good girl. So it is imperative that we take the time, five minutes, a couple of times a day, practice this and start finding ways to make it exciting. Bentley offers me a golden opportunity. For you, it might be dropping things that she really loves, toys, treats, things that make her want to come off so that you can then go, uh-uh, if she's starting to come off. Or if she comes off, you just send her back with a point. Okay? More later.